Jill told me that she was writing her books just for fun, because after all, we were long past the Amazon gold rush for all of the, the Kindle books and all of these things. That was back in the years of like 2012 to 2015. So there really wasn't any major rush to getting her book onto the market since it wasn't gonna sell anyways. Well, at least that's what she thought until we had a chat. And that's the reason why in today's video, we are going to discuss the once in a lifetime opportunity to self-publish is coming. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. So the thing is, Jill, and she's from France, or she's an American living in, she's an expat living in France, and she's been writing it over her entire life lots of children's stories. But recently, she's been working on a specific story that she plans to put onto Amazon. And the thing is, she looked on, on, on the market and figured, look, I've got this story, let me just put it on there. The problem though, is that she realized she wasn't going to make any money off of it because she read all of the articles addressing how many books are going on Amazon on a daily basis. And already there were tons of children's books that were already out there. So it really wasn't going to make that much of a difference. So putting her book on the market, she assumed, wasn't going to have that much of an impact. Now, at one level, this might make a little bit of sense because there are an awful lot of books going on in the market. So what happened was she started writing the books, but she realized it was getting very difficult to write because the motivation levels were not that high. After all, how could you be motivated if you knew you were gonna put something onto the market that nobody was gonna buy? And so maybe after this, that would be her last book. She wouldn't really do anything else with self-publishing once she got this first book on to the market because that was really, maybe the goal was just getting it on the market, not per se that it would actually make sense sales. So <clears throat> she found her motivation starting to go down because of this whole issue and that caused her to stop writing as fast. In addition, she found that her day job was taking up so much time in her life that it was also pulling away her ability to focus in on this particular thing. And so she had been working on it for a very long time and was still not making much progress. So at this point, what did she do? She was watching some of my YouTube videos and I was commenting exactly that things, this gold rush may have been a certain period of time, but we have not gone past it. There are still lots and lots of opportunity available. So she booked a discovery session with me where we could sit down and go one-on-one -on -one and take a look at the issues. And one of the big ones I was pointing out to her is, this is a, we are exactly in this once in a lifetime opportunity to self-publish. And it's only getting better based upon all of the things that we're seeing. And that's where the issue where it is coming very shortly is. And the first thing is, it's never been so easy to get the tools. So that's the first thing. And the tools, you'll notice if you follow things like Black Friday sales and stuff, the prices always drop on all of these tools for the most part. There are a few that don't, but for the most part they do. So that gives you even a better deal where you can get them. And in terms of the training instruction, I give away a lot of the stuff just on this channel where I go through each and every one of these points showing exactly how to use these tools and discussing this issue of how to get the most out of it and knowing which tools to use since there's a lot of choices that you can make when it comes to choosing the right tools. But this was not the case if we go back 10, 15 years ago, you did not have all of these tools available. And each and every day, new tools are, are coming out and the tools we already have continue to be upgraded. That's why it's getting a lot easier to do the research for the small percentage of authors who actually research and don't just write a book and hope the best. The second reason here that with what's going on, it's the royalties are incredibly high. So we're getting high percentage royalties and with new and additional distribution channels, those royalty rates are sitting at like 70% for a lot of these books and giving us more flexibility to make more money, which is phenomenal. But there's a good reason why we would be making more money as we're moving forward in time. And this is the point where it's coming. It's the fact that more and more people are buying cell phones and coming online. They can buy our eBooks with their phones across Asia and Africa, South America, many regions that may previously not even had access to the content that we'd like to put out in the world and to share this value with the world. Suddenly they're coming and able to buy our books in their specific regions and it's continuing to expand. This also includes your audiobook versions of these books. So the number of readers is drastically increasing <clears throat> with a hunger for exactly the types of books that we're putting on the market, assuming we're actually figuring out where the profitable markets are. And that's the key issue, is that there are still tons of very profitable sub 
genres on Amazon to put your books in. And no matter what kind of book you have, you can usually position it in alignment with one of these particularly very powerful subgenres where if when you're able to find them using exactly the tools like Katie Spy and Publisher Rock and these other tools I talk about on this channel, you can check out my affiliate links below in the description for these exact tools that I use, that I recommend, that I teach how to use. And then by taking these particular tools, we're able to find those keywords that people are searching on and then positioning our books in alignment with it in order to ensure that all of this massive number of millions and millions of new readers are going to be able to quickly find our books, which is the number one goal as a new author, is to make sure as many people as possible who are in your target market are going to want to find your books and you want to make it easy for them by choosing titles and subtitles, covers, and then your seven keywords, making sure each of these are properly in alignment and you're going to be able to get that exact same value out of it. The other thing I was commenting to Jill was that with the right marketing and content, there is no limit to what you can do assuming you also stay within the same genre <clears throat> not hopping around from one short stories here and like she had mentioned when i was talking with jill that she had some interest in other subjects maybe she came and do fantasy books or something right or historical fiction and i commented that she really needs to choose a single sub genre and not move away from that and that was one of the big points that many of my coaching clients have a problem with which is the temptation to move away from their primary niche if we find a very powerful niche we want to write books into that particular subgenre and make sure that our audience associates our name with it in fact one of my clients recently even commented that now even in the reviews they were commenting and saying oh another book from this author which is phenomenal because it would just be it's showing him or her that the books they're writing are associated with them and so you do not want to switch tracks we want to stay in the track. And that's one of the reasons why even though the gold rush has in throw anything on the market and it will sell maybe gone. But I can tell you throw anything that's got the right content and position to the right market on Amazon and it also will sell as if it were a gold rush. And that's the reason why marketing has never been more important than now when it comes to Amazon and you can definitely win. And the cool part of it is using the very same tools like Publisher Rocket will give you this huge cloud of keywords you can then use against running ads for your books which will then leverage them to sell even more copies and as we go around and around just imagine what happens if you've been doing this for two to three or three to five years usually it's a three to five year marker in order to really get your name associated with your books and then it takes about by the 10 year marker that's when really the engines are on full force where you see what happens most of the authors you know they did not start by making an amazing book their first try it usually takes several books and after we've done a whole series then we're getting people new people introduced to the first book and then they're coming through and then more people are coming in and it starts to build momentum like an engine is really what we're talking about here and that is the possibility and that's why we are looking at a once in a lifetime I don't know how long these this opportunity will be around for books I'm not sure something will come later but I'm telling you this opportunity is massive and it's only growing it's going to be even <clears throat> better regarding the opportunities for books and especially quality books since a lot of the a lot of the websites like Ingram Spark and Amazon are now getting a lot stricter on what they are accepting and whether they're going to give you ISBN numbers. And so it's important to write books that you're enthusiastic about. <clears throat> you're going to be able to put a high quality book and then even more importantly, getting the marketing correct on that book to ensure you're going to be selling that book for years to come into the future. And Jill was starting to get a bit excited about this because she started to see that maybe she hadn't even done the research for her book. We took a little bit of time, like I always do during every discussion every session to do a little deep dive into your specific subgenre. If you would like a little bit of help exploring that, then just check out the link below and subscribe to the list and to get on the, the, uh, the ability to book a free discovery session where we can take a look at exactly what you've already written or plan on writing and find out if, in fact, it is in a profitable sub-niche. And if not, where can we find a profitable niche? So back to Jill. 
So Jill decided that yes, she could in fact shift the angle of her book. She didn't have to have this children's book in this particular thing. She did decide also that she was going to double down on the children's books and not start moving away from this type of book and onto some other genre or some other sub niche. This is a terrible idea, but rather hold the focus on just the children's books and in particular. And so what happened was she started using some of the tools that I've discussed be before and in this video as well. And she found that the niche of books that were going to be great within her specific market. Her original title was completely off and a number of other things would be a problem there as well. But by correcting and optimizing these exact things and taking the steps necessary to improve the quality of her book and the way that it was marketed and positioned on the market, she was setting herself up for a win. Now, <clears throat> the thing that she found, she's still not finished writing her very first book. Some of my clients are already done, some of them not so much. But the fact is she still is working on that very first book. But one thing that's huge here is she's finding it a lot easier when she knows after the book hits the market, it's going to be seeing some sales because she's in the right market now for this specific book and she's made it very easy for readers to find the book. And just by knowing that your book is going to do okay when it gets into the market, that enough is enough to motivate you to keep on keeping on. So my question for you today is, do you feel there are still opportunities in self-publishing? If you feel there's still opportunities, then write yes below in the comments. And if you feel, no, the Kindle rush is gone and there's, it's hopeless, then write no below in the comments because I need to know where you're coming from. And I'll see you over in this video here. Thanks.